beautiful girl, Holly Valance and her partner Artem Chigvintsev. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Lovely. Holly said to me, Holly said to me, why do I have to be first? I said, it was done fairly. I drew a name out of a hat and it, it took me 27 goes at it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I did it eventually. Anyway, here they are in training. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. She's a pop temptress and pin-up. But it was acting on Ramsey Street that gave Holly her big break. Neighbours was uh, where I began. I played Flick Scully and then I released a single just before I left Neighbours. So I went from the acting world to a serious baptism fire into the music industry. I think people assume that I can dance, but when you're just shooting a music video, you just have to look kind of like sexy and funky and like 10 sweaty hot dancers behind you. Awesome. Got a crew of 50 people shooting great angles and making you look good. This is just me and Artem, and he's last year's winner, which means that we've got like a lot to live up to as well. And then that boggles my marbles. Last year, I won the Glitter Bowl and I actually as well got myself a girlfriend. It would be amazing to win twice in a row. I'm struggling with the cha cha. Adam doesn't give compliments out willy-nilly. Oh my goodness, Shut up. what the hell was that? Me complimenting doesn't really go together. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate it. You really have to be good to get them. It's looking all right. Is that another one of your compliments? Artem's been hard enough to please, and even though no one's being kicked off this week, hopefully I'll impress the judges with my first cha-cha. Dancing the cha-cha-cha. Holly Valance and Artem Chigvincev. One's over. Definitely. Of course you do. Right. <laughs> okay, now, whilst you two get your breath back, it's a good time to welcome our fabulous singers, Dave Arch and his wonderful, wonderful orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and of course, we have our judges who I've missed terribly over the summer. Alicia, I've missed you saying those little words of wisdom. I've missed uh, <laughs> Craig. I've missed you saying darling. <laughs> darling. I've really missed that. And Len, I've missed you saying seven. <laughs> uh, and Bruno, I've missed you saying, well, to be honest, I, have, I never know what you're saying. So. <laughs> I will speak <laughs> very, very slowly. Yes, and uh, uh, maybe a little softer. <laughs> maybe. But anyway, uh, Len, let's get stuck in here. What did you think is the first offering? Well, it's not the best first dance I've ever seen, but I'll tell you what. Oh. 
I'll tell you what, it was close. It really was. Oh, okay. oh. It could have been a bit crisper in the action. Your legs need to straighten and flex a little bit more so you get a natural hip action. But I tell you what, I don't know who's coming, but they've got to be blooming good to beat that. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alicia, my darling. Holly, you are a very, very good dancer. Dancer, You look sensational and you've got the sexiness down. And for yeah. me, you were convincing throughout. I was very, very surprised by the standard. Your technique is actually already at a high standard for the beginning of the show. And I even think you could push it even more. Oh, she will. Because it's just those very early stages with the nerves. But yeah. I think you're going to be sensational in this competition. Yeah, I think so. Very, very so. proud. <laughs> Now then, Bruno, and, and don't hold back. Colin! Oh, here we go. You can give plenty of very tasty eye candy. <laughs> Flowingly <laughs> sensuous, the footwork was good, the extension. Oh, excellent. <laughs> but all that sweet candy needs more bite. Len was right, you've got to go for it with more strength. Go for it because you've got it. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's really wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. Very good, Bruno. The, uh, the liniment is working, then. Yeah, it's still there. The liniment's yeah. working. Right, Craig, what did you think? Uh, sharper arm placement, particularly in all the finishes. They need to finish crisply. Uh, you had flexed knees really throughout. There was hardly any straight leg in there, which um, lacked hip action, unfortunately. Whoa. I didn't like your walks. They're a bit clumsy, but I know you can improve those. I thought you had fantastic flexibility. Oh. And I absolutely love the layout. However, the first layout you did, you, when you uh, did your developer extension, unfortunately, that didn't quite make it. You never quite got there, darling. Oh. But um, a lot to work on, but a lot of good, actually. Thank you. <laughs> a very good start. Off you go. <laughs> Be good to her. Off you go, Holly. No pressure and what a dance. I mean, fun. you've just kicked off Strictly 2011 with the reigning champ of Strictly 2010. Does it get any better? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the judges seem to think you've got more to give. Would you agree? I definitely agree. It was all excellent um, and constructive criticism that I'm going to really work on this week. And Artem, you feel any pressure to hold on to that title? Two years running. Could this, this be the girl to take to the final I again? I don't want to think about it. Let's just take it week by week. One step <laughs> at a time. All right, well, the scores are in. It's time to get the scores from the judges. Craig Revel Horwood. Six. Len Goodman. Seven. Alicia Dixon. Eight. And Bruno Tonioli. Seven. All right, 28 and 40. Strong start and the first seven of the series. Has Holly set the standard? Now remember, nobody's leaving tonight and the judges' scores will carry over to next week. First night nerves, I think, from first time ballroom dancers. Anybody else nervous? Yeah. A lot of nerves, so I'm nervous for them. Six more couples tonight, seven tomorrow. You can't beat a weekend in the ballroom. Right, Bruce?